I'm uh, Sharon Malcolm. I've been with Go to Nation since um, 1999, and I am now in Peru. I travel to the river, uh, and I work with, um, right now I'm focusing on three Shawi Indian villages. Um, to We've already evangelized them, now we're discipling them with the purpose of church planting. Where I live to where they live, it's a 9 to 14 hour boat ride. And when that river, the smaller river, is low due to the um, dry season, it's really, I mean it takes hours and you have to push the boat, lift it, pull it, do whatever you need to do. You have to cut through trees that have fallen from the rainy season with a machete or whatever. Um, our purpose uh, is to um, get them to a level where they are um, leading their own people. We want to raise up church leaders in the village, uh, in the villages, so that um, they are becoming the church leaders and with the goal of evangelizing their Shawi neighbors. People are really, really responding. They're, um, uh, in the one village of Santa Clara, we had eight people that asked to be water baptized. Well, they didn't know um, the saving knowledge of Christ before. They may have heard, some may have heard of Jesus, some not. Um, they had no point of reference of who he was, what he did. They didn't understand sin, Adam and Eve, any of that. Since they've been hearing the gospel, uh, about Jesus and God, and we stress all the time there is no other God greater than our God. You know, He created everything you see. Who told me that uh, they used to worship this tree that they believed had certain powers. Uh, since, and they would do these drink offerings with to the tree. They would um, take two bowls and fill it with uh, misato, which is uh, uh, fermented yuca and drink one bowl and pour the other bowl in the root system of the tree and therefore they were having a uh, drink offering together with this tree. And um, they said they have stopped doing that since they heard that there's only one God, there's no other God more powerful. They have laid that practice aside, which praise God for. We just had our first um, Bible Foundation Conference in uh, the end of November, and we invited um, these these three villages to come from, I sponsored them to come out. It, for me, from what I observed, it was life-changing for them. They took a giant leap forward. So many things are happening, and the people, uh, the new Christians are finally beginning to take their first steps on their own. And they want to, um, now after seven years of working with them, they finally want to um, take uh, initiative and hold their own meetings. I am so, so very grateful for the support that this church um, has uh, given me over the years. I am so, so very grateful to you for not just the financial support, but the um, emotional and special, especially prayer support. We cannot do this alone. We have to, we, all of us are responsible to complete the Great Commission, but we are the body of Christ and it's together that we are reaching people.